Today, we're going to be doing a fan favorite by playing with something long and hard. That's right going for some long shots that i forgot to do and by that i mean i forgot to get it on the chimera here the m13 and the pdsw i to be fair though i didn't forget on the pdsw my camos are bugged on it but we're still gonna get it done today and for each of these guns we need to get 25 long shots so really quick let's go through the builds here here's my chimera here's my m13 and here's my pdsw and i mentioned before the camos on this are bugged and i've had people be like no you just can't read First of all, you're right. I can't read. Second of all, I know that I have the required amount of SMGs done. I've been known that. But there's no way for me to get gold on this, but it still tracks my platinum progress for some reason. So I'm gonna go ahead, knock out the platinum progress just to have it done. But it already says I have polyatomic unlocked for it. So we're gonna be doing it with polyatomic on there just so there's like no confusion. And this is the class I'm gonna be using for my ARs because I'm gonna be hopping in tier one to get this done for those. And I think there's still shipment 24 seven and tier one shipment that I can get the long shots done for the PDSW. And the only difference I have in that class is the field upgrade going from the deployable cover to the battle rage. But we got a lot of long shots to do. So let's go ahead, hop in and try to crank these out. Not like that though, pause, hold on, pause. Crank them out in a non-dirty way, sicko. Oh wait, hold on, I left a blunt laying around. There we go. It's actually a humidifier because my nuts get really dry in here. All right, we're working on our Chimera to start here and can we just talk about how awful of a challenge long shots are? Not even that they're difficult to do, it's just they're so slow to get done and the only way to get them done like effectively or get them done like pretty quick is playing tier one and that kind of like ruins the mode i've been seeing a lot of people using smoke grenades or at least talking about using smoke grenades just to deter people from even going for long shots in this mode so i might have to switch to a thermal site later on but it's kind of a shame because i know people say don't call this hardcore this is not hardcore this is realism and uh, you gotta have a point there but if there is no hardcore mode in the game and this is the one game mode that has no HUD and people die fast, I'm gonna call it hardcore. But I was really a hardcore main. I played a lot of hardcore modern for 2019 and played a lot of it in Cold War. And now in this game, the only time I hop in here is for long shots, which is really disappointing. It feels like they kind of gutted out the hardcore mode, slapped realism on there. They had like a little morphed deformed baby and they just called it a day which is super disappointing. I honestly don't understand why they did it. I, there's gotta be some sort of player disparity for, for hardcore. Like they figured that nobody really plays hardcore too much, so why make a playlist for it? Like there has to be some sort of business reason behind Activision not putting it in here. But we are kind of cranking out these long shots right now. I'm pretty sure we already have like five, which is a decent number for one game. And we got really lucky with this map selection. Los Alamos is perfect for long shots. And they are throwing out smoke grenades already, so I have to adapt. Okay, this is a five times thermal. And the one I used before when we were doing like some really bad builds going for headshots. Apparently that is like a not thermal sight, but a night vision sight. This one's thermal for sure. Okay. I'm pretty sure on that site. Hold on. Wait, let me protect myself here because I know I'm stupid, but I know I'm not that dumb let's check this out really quick maybe they don't have it for this gun so maybe i am just dumb i had people frying me in the comments for for using like a, a night vision scope instead of a thermal scope and i had no idea that was even a thing i kind of just threw it on but honestly in this game not too many people going for long shots i see a few other people on the other team which is good for me because that means i have somebody to go back and forth with to get long shots but not a whole lot of people in my team maybe tier one is healing nature is healing there we go. That might be one. Or maybe just under the range. I'm pretty sure the range for long shots for ARs is like 38 meters, which is kind of crazy. There's not a whole lot of maps that have those long shot angles. It's like this map is really good for them. Shoot House is really good for them. And like Turok is really good for them. Another big problem with how they got it hardcore in tier one is there's no kill feed and there's absolutely no pop up. So I won't even know if I get all my long shots done. I'll have no idea that I can even move on to the next gun. Is that a 23 right there? Is that the blood splatter in a 23? Did somebody kill Jordan? Do I have to go look at this? Why is the 23 warm? Don't kill me. I just want to look. Oh my God, it is a 23. It'd be cooler if it was a 26. And after one game, how many long shots did we get? Six. This is why long shots are terrible. We played an entire game and got a quarter of the progress done or, or a fifth, just over a fifth. 
El Silo. I completely forgot this map even existed. I haven't played this since they dropped a 24-7 playlist on this game, and I'm not about to start. That is awful for long shots. Let's go. We got Las Almas again. Kind of crazy good luck here. I've never gotten this map two times in a row. I guess I did back out, so maybe I should have been cherry picking my lobbies a little more. Anybody peeking down here? Yes, sir. Barely got him. And another. I'm sorry. If you're up here peeking with me, both of you guys, I'm getting all these long shots. You can pre-fire all you want. You don't have the snap aim that I do. I'm just a better gamer. Hate to say it. Okay, now I'm not. All right. I, I did have to say something, didn't I? I have a feeling they're going to push over here. Go ahead. Try me. See that I'm not ready. Idiot. They can't touch this game sense. Is that a dead guy? That's a dead guy. Okay, maybe they can touch the game sense. Damn, now nobody's peeking. Now, I understand long shots aren't difficult at all, but the time they take to do and the fact that they're on literally any gun that can shoot far or basically every gun, anything that shoots bullets you need long shots for to even get platinum on is very annoying. I wish they switched it up for each like gun. Maybe for ARs or snipers or something, something that can do long distance. Sure, give them long shots. For SMGs, maybe it should be like point blanks or kills shortly after sprinting or get like double kills, triple kills. And then pistols maybe add more headshots, even though that's all polyatomic, which I'm also not that big of a fan of because it seems like the difficulty gap between doing long shots, going into headshots, just goes straight down. And by difficulty, I mean like time. This just takes way too long to do. For no reason. I know it's only 25 of them and we had to do a lot more in the past, but at least I felt like the grind matched up with it. And this, it feels like you can fly through it. I mean, there's going to be some annoying challenges to do, which is whatever. I'm glad that there's some sort of difficulty in getting these camos done. But for the most part, it's dumb easy. And then it's just sit in one spot in a mode that people only play for this. And then you can go back to having fun or playing normally. Like challenges like this and mounted kills and prone kills do not help the player base at all all it does is promote like really boring stupid play styles that nobody likes and completely ruins a mode of the game but i guess we just got to take what we can get but i do wonder if like the devs actually go and try to unlock camos before the game comes out like if they'll all play like matches against each other or even against bots and see like how camo progress goes and if it's smooth because i would much rather do like way more of a different challenge than go for long shots because this is just boring and dumb i don't think there's a single person who goes in and is like wow i can't wait to do long shots and i'm glad these are my last few guns i have to do it for i honestly thought i was done with long shots until they added a new gun but it turns out for some of the new guns they added i didn't even do them and after a second full game we still need 10 more long shots this is ridiculous i am not playing border crossing Anyways, we'll just remove the map. What did I just say? I'm not playing this. Crown Raceway does have some nice angles, but I ain't doing it. Give me a better map, please. Okay, Los Almas part three. Let's do it. But with everything I've said about long shots and how they're kind of a deterrent to everybody in this game, like how they ruin modes and they make it so your camel progress is like significantly slower. This can all be solved pretty easily just by adding a tier one shoot house playlist. The amount of long shots I've gotten on shoot house in tier one are insane every time i get that map while searching in tier one i'm immediately hyped because i know i'm about to get whatever gun i'm doing done plus great progress on another one and you can keep the other tier one playlist completely separate because just having tier one shoe house is basically screaming come get your long shots done right here this is the spot to do it i feel like that would solve a lot of issues and a lot of like tier one mains would not complain uh, about people coming into their mode just going for long shots anymore so I'm not going to lie. When I'm in here going for long shots, I'm not playing objective at all. Not that I play objective a whole lot when I'm going for camo progress, but this would just be a huge plus for those people. Because look at this. We have this guy here, which I don't know what the hell he's doing. He's kind of looking at the ground. We had somebody on top of the van a second ago. It's like there's a good percentage that at least 30% of each team is going to just be strictly going for long shots. I guess it's free kills for you if you're on the other team but it's not as fun when people are just sitting in one spot it's like how shipment is strictly there just to go for like kills and camo progress a tier one shoe house playlist would just be strictly for long shots basically like you could get an entire class done so fast but maybe that's not what they want maybe they don't want people to get camos done that fast because for me the thing i really like to do in cod is grind camos and once i'm done with that and i have nothing less left to grind then i don't really know what to do in the game because i'm not too crazy good at it i'm not gonna be going for high kill games i'm not gonna be going for nukes i'm not gonna be going for like trick shots or nothing like that it's just like i've kind of lost my 
thing that I do in the game. And I've seen a lot of comments recently of people being like, oh, I got like four full-time jobs and 18 kids and I still got Orion before you. You fucking suck or something like that. Which my response to that is lick balls, suck boner. And second of all, like I just said, grinding camos is what I find fun about this game. So I've been taking my time with it. I've been savoring it. I don't want to be done yet because I know they just drip feed content to us in this game. And I don't want to just be sitting around twiddling my thumbs waiting for the next gun to drop. So when they drop like one or two guns next season that I have something to do while I wait for that. And the fact that they haven't dropped too much content in this game and with where SBMM's at, where if you try to play with people that are more casual, it's just impossible to play with other people. Like a lot of my friends stopped playing the game after like about a week or two into it. I still have some friends that do camo grinding and grind for other things that still play it. But for the most part, like my my main group that would play like SND and everything with, they don't play the game anymore because they don't like where it's at and they don't like the content in it. So the only thing I really have is the grinds. Did I get them? That's the worst part about last stand, like run it, whatever. I'll be mad about it, but it isn't that big of a deal. But if you kill somebody with last stand, I don't even know if it counts towards camo progress. On top of that, it doesn't make any noise. Like you don't get that notification that you killed them. Since there's no kill feed in this, the only way to check is to, you know, hit tab and look at your kills. But I have no idea if it's a long shot for this guy going for him. And one of the huge benefits of going for long shots and having somebody else going for long shots on the other side is you guys just get to go back and forth trading long shots. It's a symbiotic relationship. And if I'm not getting any out of it, all he's doing is just screwing me, which is kind of a dick move. Camo grinders got to have camo grinders backs. And that might have been another full game without getting platinum done for this. I guess we'll see. Did we get it done? No, we only got like three that game. I hate this challenge. Oh, and come on. You're gonna give me shipment? That's just a spit in the face. Okay, the hotel, we can work with this. We, I've gotten quite a few long shots on this map. It's not very efficient, but we can work with it. Anybody going for long shots in this game though? I'm not seeing anyone besides him, but that's not far away. I might be on the wrong spawn for this. This side's probably going to be better, hopefully. I still have not seen anybody walk this way. This is ridiculous. I'm going to give this about like two more minutes. Oh, wait. And if I don't get... No way he missed or I missed all of those. That guy just dodged everything. He dove right through there. But I was going to say, I'm going to give this like two more minutes. And if I'm not getting any long shots, I'm backing out. Because this is a waste of time. Oh, there we go. I just saw somebody up here. Go ahead, repeat. Be brave. But what I don't understand is how COD thinks they're going to keep player retention by having them go for these long shots if they got all their guns gold first. Because a lot of people don't know what the platinum challenge is or they weren't really thinking about it. They're just like, I'll get my guns gold and then I'll go work on platinum after. And for those people, I feel so sorry for you. Having to do like, what is it, 51 guns? Minus like what? The launchers, which is four. You don't even really have to do those. But let's just say with all the base guns in the game. So 51 minus... Four minus an extra two for the melees. Now multiply that by 25. You're doing 1,125 long shots in a row to even get to polyatomic. That's what you have to do if you get all your guns gold first. So for those of you that haven't started the grind yet, I want you to think about that. Does that sound like fun? Do you want to just be sitting in maps like this, waiting around for somebody to peek your niche angle and see if you can get one little progress towards getting one gun platinum? I bet you don't. Because I do not want to do it. And I love grinding camos. And I'm backing out of this game. We'll find another lobby. Oh, thank God. The greatest map ever created for long shots. Besides Shoe House. Oh, how I've missed you. Now, I'm pretty sure I'm at 18 out of 25 long shots. So I'm going to try to count my long shots this game. That way I can switch to my M13 and get those done. Because I don't want to waste any time on this map. This is critical. And of course, it's team deathmatch instead of literally any other mode that could last longer. There we go. 19. 20, maybe 21. I'm not going to count that one, actually. I don't think that was far enough. That's for sure 21 now. Can you do some for me? That should be 22, hopefully. 23 right here if I can get this. Yes, sir. 24. One more. Last long shot for the Chimera. Oh, 25 right here. Come on, 25. If I could aim. Damn it. I got a little too excited there. Maybe 25? I'm not going to chance it. That seemed a little too close. Maybe? Is that it? I'll get one more to be sure. That That's like just about at the range. Okay, that's got to be it for sure. I'm moving on. 
If I gotta get one more later, I'll get one more later. Go ahead and kill me. Get your free long shot right here. Go ahead. Thank you. Now let's see how the M13 does. It sucks that both these guns are kind of like more full auto weapons where you really just want to spray with them. And that doesn't really work too well with long shots. So I'm missing a lot more shots than I need to, mostly because my accuracy plus recoil is not very good. But we'll have to deal with it. Oh no, that's the game. Only 18 kills. That took forever to get our Chimera done. And I don't even think this last kill is a long shot. Damn. Let's just make sure that we got that done. All right, cool. Now we can work on Polyatomic for this later. <gasps> Shoe house, let's go. But is Team Deathmatch and Control the only two modes in tier one? That's ridiculous. Give me like domination. Give me some hardcore dom. But I'm going into this game with, I think, 11 long shots. That's the wrong gun. That's the wrong gun. Let me check. No. Okay. I'm just going to assume I'm at 11 long shots. After this game, I should have a lot more. But now you guys see why. Every time I went for like a, a class and I got them gold and I went to go get them platinum and I basically cut the whole thing out and just like threw on breaking bad. This is why. Because it just takes forever. And I've also seen people be like, why don't you just play ground war or invasion and go for long shots? I can see how you can get a decent amount of long shots doing it, but I've always found it like very inconsistent. It's always like running to one spot and then dying on your way there or you set up, get like one or two long shots, get killed. You throw down attack insert. Somebody's going to sit there and camp it after they kill you. I just always found it a lot faster to lobby shop in tier one. And now I'm competing with these two stooges for some long shots. What do you need them for? I see the Orion on your gun. Are you just stuck in your ways? There we go. Hopefully that's one. There we go. Keep them coming. Keep feeding me. No, I gotta reload. This is stressing me out. I don't want the game to end and me not have enough long shots. I just want to get this gun done and then I can do the fun thing by getting the PDSW done on shipment because that will just take like a few minutes. Oh no, it's over. I only got 19 kills that game, but hopefully most of those were long shots. And then we just have to do like one or two more games of tier one and then we can finally get our PDSW done. Please say I got a decent amount done. Oh, thank God. We just need three more. Okay, Embussy. We'll take it. And for those of you wondering, why did I call it M Bussy? This is why. Somebody cummed on it. There's a big cum right there. But this map is also pretty decent for long shots. Not the greatest. Not the best. Right in the middle. As long as I can get some of these kills. And we just need two more of them. And for some reason, I've been noticing with this, whenever I'm ADS and I reload, at least with this gun, it stays zoomed in. I thought it was just a mounting thing happening on shipment, but it's happening here too. I'll show you guys what I mean as, as soon as I can get one of these kills. There we go. Oh, I forgot to stay zoomed in. Okay, there we go. You guys saw that, right? I can shoot, reload, and then zoom in while I'm reloading for some reason. Okay, now I think I'm done with long shots for this. I'm backing out. I really hope that was it because I didn't want to leave a, a decent map without having it done. Okay, perfect. Now I can just hop on tier one shipment and grind the rest of the PDSW. I think I have like two long shots for this thing. Now uh, let's see how fast this goes in comparison. I think that's already one. I should probably throw thermals on this because it's nothing but smokes. Is there even a thermal for the SMGs? Yes, there is. No, what? Okay, I guess it don't really matter too much if I miss out on long shot opportunities here on shipment because I'm going to get plenty more. It's literally just... Put my back against the wall and shoot towards whoever's over here. Come on. Just let me just get all these done and I'll be out of your hair. You won't see somebody walking around with a thermal P90 ever again. Oh, I really hope these are counting right now because we just got a bunch right there. Okay. There's no way we don't have this done. I'm gonna be really surprised if this game ends and we don't have it done. I feel like I've gotten quite a bit. All right, game's over. We had 47 kills, probably like 85 deaths. But as long as this thing's platinum, I'll be all fine. Oh, we only died 27 times, actually. That's real low for me. But are we done? What? 14? Bullshit. I call bullshit. All right, well, apparently most of those weren't actually tracking. So, gotta do it again. Okay, there's no way that's not a long shot. Or that. Okay, I, we gotta be getting progress here. Or this game's rigged. We are just demolishing long shots right now. As long as these are counting. So I don't even know what a long shot is anymore. And that's the game. Of course, they throw me in a game in progress that's already ending. Well, we had 21 kills somehow. Let's hope that's enough to be done. Please? No way I still need two more. This game's just playing with me. Come on. That's gotta be one at least. Okay, 
I'm just gonna assume I'm done after that. I'm pretty sure he was all the way against the wall. Oh, don't fuck with me, game. Don't fuck with me. That's not the right class. Don't f Let's go. We got it done. So we somehow have platinum, polyatomic, but not gold on this gun. And you guys probably already know what platinum looks like, so I'm not gonna go through the trouble of inspecting them in game. But I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here because I'm a little fucking frustrated. Fuck long shots. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I really do appreciate the support. It means a lot to me. None of this would be possible without you guys. And I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.